Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a keyboard review here for you today. Um, this is a very interesting little keyboard that I picked up on eBay not too long ago. I paid $20 for it. Um, these normally retail for around $80, and I think I got a pretty good deal. Um, this is a very, very small, very portable little keyboard made by Microsoft. It's called the Microsoft Wedge Mobile, and it is a beautifully designed keyboard. And go ahead and unbox it here for you and let you see firsthand what I'm talking about. Inside the box we've got this little plastic protector thing over the top of the keyboard and then we've got the keyboard itself. Set that to the side and take a look at what else comes in here. Uh, normally there would be two AAA batteries here but uh, they're actually in the keyboard now. Underneath this is the cover which also transforms into a tablet stand You'll notice it's extremely dusty, and that's only after a few minutes of use. I'll get onto that more later. <clears throat> that clips on top of the keyboard, and we've got our range of manuals and paper junk that no one cares about. <clears throat> Very nice box, by the way. Nicely packaged, nicely designed. You can see the price tag on it. It used to cost $80. I'm not sure why they were 20 but the seller had a whole bunch of them. I think it was an, like an Orbest offer type of thing. I offered 20 bucks and they took it. So this is how the uh, stand works here. It just clips onto the bottom of the keyboard here, or onto the top, I should say. It's kind of a rubbery type stand slash case combo. And my other keyboard is sliding down. I apologize about that. <clears throat> You'll notice this surface picks up dust and junk like nothing else on the planet. Um, yeah, that's really the biggest gripe I have with it. Um, I find myself not using this at all. <clears throat> this is a Bluetooth keyboard, as you guys probably already know. Um, see, when you uh, remove the cover, it automatically attempts to sync to whatever previous device that, I, that you have it synced with. Um, it's an all aluminum construction on the bottom. Very nicely machined. Uh, very nice looking base. Uh, has the Microsoft logo down there. Little rubber pad across the bottom to keep it from slipping. And this part back here is also slightly rubbery. And that's also where the batteries go. Um, as well as the Bluetooth connect buttons on that side. And the way you get to the batteries is you push in here and it slides out. It's actually a pretty nice little design there. I quite enjoy that. Nice little bit of engineering. <clears throat> the keyboard itself is slightly raised up. That's why it has the wedge name, I guess. Um, there's very a decent amount of travel on the keys. It feels all right. It's um, very similar to like a netbook or a small laptop keyboard. It's nothing. Uh, nothing spectacular, but it feels good for the uh, for the general size. It's a very small keyboard, um, takes up very little room on a desk, and it's all right for basic typing and navigating on a computer. Um, my only other gripe is it doesn't have a numpad. I really do rely upon having a numpad quite a lot, but I know some people prefer a 10 keyless uh, version of a keyboard, which is what this falls under category-wise. Um, and if that's what kind of keyboard you're looking for, this will definitely suit you perfectly fine. And if you're used to typing on a laptop, chiclet style keyboard, then this will do just fine. Um, there's plenty of room here for people with medium or small sized hands. Somebody with a little bit larger hands might have trouble with this because the keys are fairly small. But I know for me it's not too bad and I've actually typed quite a few papers and things on this already. I've had it for a couple months now. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in picking one of these up, um, it's very likely you'll be able to find one on eBay for a similar kind of price. Just do a little shopping around on there. This one was new open box, um, and I see no signs of it being used before, so I'm pretty sure that it actually was new. Probably a store return or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick little look at this keyboard. Um, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and I will catch you guys later. 